Have you ever pondered the possibility of life on other planets? Imagine, if you will, a world beyond our own where life as we know it has found a way to thrive. This is the intriguing prospect that has driven astronomers for decades in their quest for exoplanets, planets that lie outside our solar system. The hunt for these celestial bodies isn't just a scientific curiosity, it's a pursuit fueled by the desire to answer one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? To answer this, we must first find a planet that could potentially support life. This brings us to the concept of the habitable zone, also fondly known as the Goldilocks zone. In the realm of astronomy, the habitable zone is that sweet spot around a star where conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Why is this so important, you ask? Well, water is a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. It's the lifeblood of our own planet, facilitating the existence of all known living organisms. Finding a planet within the habitable zone of its star is akin to finding a cosmic oasis, a potential harbour for life. But where do we look for these exoplanets? The universe is vast, and the number of stars is mind-boggling. Well, astronomers have their eyes set on stars similar to our sun, for it's around such stars that the conditions might be just right for a planet to nestle comfortably within the habitable zone. The search is arduous and requires the best of our technology. Advanced space telescopes scour the cosmos, detecting the faintest whispers of light from distant worlds. These instruments don't just spot planets, they analyze their atmospheric composition, searching for signs of life such as oxygen, ozone and methane. The quest for exoplanets is a quest for life beyond Earth. It's a journey that propels us into the unknown, armed with the power of science and an insatiable curiosity. As we continue to peer into the vastness of space, we edge closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone or is there a new home waiting for us among the stars? Picture the breakthrough that changes everything, the discovery of a habitable zone planet. This discovery is not a stroke of luck, but a triumph of human innovation and technology. Our next generation space telescopes have been the game changer. These marvels of engineering suspended in the silence of space are able to detect the faintest glimmers of light from distant worlds, teasing out their secrets and whispering them back to us here on Earth. Through their eyes, we analyze the atmospheric composition of these far-flung exoplanets seeking signs of life. Oxygen, ozone, methane, these are the biosignatures that hint at the possibility of life-sustaining conditions. So, imagine our euphoria when one such telescope brings into focus a planet nestled comfortably within the habitable zone of a star, much like our own sun. Initial data paints a tantalizing picture, a diverse landscape of vast oceans and rocky continents. There's even the suggestion of a protective magnetic field, not unlike Earth's. But the real clincher? The presence of an atmosphere with those sought-after biosignatures. It's the cosmic equivalent of a neon sign flashing life possible here. Yet this is not the end of our journey, but rather a thrilling new beginning. For with this discovery, a world of possibilities comes into view. A world that, in time, could become a second home for humanity. A world that beckons us with the greatest adventure of all, the search for life beyond Earth. However, this exhilarating discovery also presents unprecedented challenges. So, we've found a new home, a planet within the habitable zone, a potential second Earth. But what next? The road to this new world isn't as straightforward as one might think. This newfound habitable planet isn't just around the corner, it's light years away, far beyond the reach of our current spaceflight capabilities. This isn't your typical journey where a little extra fuel or a faster spaceship would do the trick. We're talking about a journey that's measured in light years, not mere miles or kilometers. This is where propulsion technology comes into play. We need to develop advanced propulsion systems that can propel our spacecraft at a significant fraction of light speed, all while maintaining the integrity of the spacecraft and the safety of its passengers. We're not just talking about theoretical concepts anymore. We need to bring these ideas to life, to practicality. But getting there is just one part of the equation. What about sustaining human life during the journey? Space is a hostile environment devoid of the conditions necessary for human survival. We need life support systems that can sustain a crew for potentially decades or even centuries. This includes providing air to breathe, food to eat and a way to recycle waste. We need to create a miniature self-sustaining ecosystem within the spaceship. And let's not forget about the destination. What about living on the new world once we get there? 
We need to develop habitats that can withstand alien weather conditions, protect against cosmic radiation, and perhaps even make use of local resources. This is a challenge of not just technology, but also of human endurance and adaptability. These are monumental tasks, the kind that require not just the advancement of technology, but also a shift in how we think about space travel. It's a challenge that demands the very best of our scientific minds, our engineers, and indeed, all of humanity. Overcoming these challenges will require the best of human ingenuity. But if history is any indication when presented with a challenge, humanity has a knack for rising to the occasion. After all, we're a species of explorers and the stars are calling. As we stand on the brink of interstellar exploration, we must also consider the ethical implications. The discovery of a potentially life-bearing planet, a second Earth, if you will, is a monumental achievement. But it's not without its moral quandaries. How do we approach this new world? Do we tread lightly, respecting its potentially unique ecosystem, or do we charge ahead, eager to exploit its resources for our own benefit? This new world may hold life. Not life as we know it, perhaps, but life nonetheless. It's a staggering thought, and with it comes a tremendous responsibility. We must ask ourselves, do we have the right to disrupt another planet's evolutionary path? And then there's the question of colonization. The notion of establishing a human settlement on another planet is tantalizing. It's the stuff of science fiction made real. But is it our place to do so? Do we have the right to colonize another planet to impose our presence on a world that isn't ours? These aren't questions with easy answers. They challenge our understanding of our place in the universe and force us to confront the consequences of our actions. They demand a deep, thoughtful discussion that balances our desire for exploration with respect for the unknown. These questions will shape the future of humanity's relationship with the cosmos. The discovery of a habitable zone planet has profound implications for our understanding of our place in the universe. It's not simply about finding a potential new home. It's about expanding our horizons, about pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. It's a testament to the human spirit, to our unquenchable thirst for knowledge and exploration. Such a discovery could ignite a new era of scientific and technological advancements, the quest to reach this new world would undoubtedly drive innovations in fields as diverse as astrophysics, biology and engineering. It would fuel our imagination, inspiring generations of scientists, dreamers and explorers. But as we gaze outwards, let's not forget to look inwards as well. The discovery of a new habitable world should also make us reflect on the state of our own planet. It serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of our home, the Earth, and the urgent need to preserve it for future generations. The discovery serves as a potent reminder of the fragility of our own home. The hypothetical discovery of a habitable zone planet is a transformative event. It propels us into a future where our understanding of the universe and our place within it is fundamentally reshaped. This is not just a triumph of science and technology, but a testament to the unyielding spirit of human curiosity. We've ventured through the key points of this monumental journey, from the relentless search for exoplanets to the exhilarating discovery of a new world. We've acknowledged the immense challenges that lie ahead and pondered the ethical considerations of setting foot on a potentially life-bearing world. And throughout, we've seen how this discovery could redefine humanity's relationship with the cosmos.